Hello Internet, Luke with Bros in the Know here. I was looking for a video on the internet uh, about removing thermal paste. They've got a buddy's laptop here, Samsung NP300V5A actually. Yeah, we had a power jack that broke off the motherboard. So yeah, I took it apart and uh, looked at the motherboard and was intimidated by the soldering required. So I just took, it, uh, took the motherboard out and took it to a local uh, electronics shop and they uh, soldered it on. But uh, yeah, I was not brave enough to do that myself. Um, and actually they were going to charge me 30 bucks shipping for the little piece. I found it on eBay for free shipping. It was like 2 bucks and 46 cents. Anyway, so yeah, I was looking for a video on removal of thermal paste and it didn't, uh, there were no real good ones I thought. So I thought I'd do one myself. Why not, hey? So in this motherboard we've got a, a heat sink here. This is the, the processor. It uh, goes on the <clears throat> Alright, head on upstairs and mommy will get you some water. Go for it. That's A-OK. -okay. You can go get some water, you bet. Okay. <clears throat> this is the heat sink in the laptop. The processor chip goes there and the video chip goes there. Um, so I actually started already scraping off uh, some of the old thermal paste on here uh, just using uh, some Q-tips. Ugh, right, girls. Uh, and then just scrape it off. And I've got some uh, isopropyl uh, rubbing alcohol here, 70% isopropyl alcohol. Um, generally speaking, you don't have to worry too much about damaging uh, electronics with isopropyl rubbing alcohol, um, just because uh, it you know dries out really well quickly. Uh, so yeah, so I started. Got I just poured a little bit into the lid here, and took a Q-tip, dabbed it in there. Oh yeah, I think I. We got we got ours uh, at Wise Mart for 99 cents. How's that for a great deal? <laughs> so <clears throat> take that there. Uh, so I've, I've dipped the Q-tip in the isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I'm just gonna give it some wipes back and forth just to make sure it got all the junk off there, all the old used up stuff. Um, and like I said, it dries pretty quickly. And uh, again, the nice thing you don't have to worry too much about. Uh, getting your components covered in the thermal paste. A little bit of bonus thermal paste there on the uh, copper. That's kind of weird. Oh well. You do that up <clears throat> and uh, give that a nice, good, uh, dusty blowout with some compressed air. Uh, yeah, you betcha. Here you go, kiddo. You're welcome, cutie. Love you. Father's work is never done. All right, so got that on there. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna put that aside for now. And uh, uh, here we go. I've got uh, here's the the uh, processor here. It's still got some on there. Uh, and then we've got the graphics chip. Okay, sure. Go ahead and get some water. You bet. It's bedtime, so gotta think of excuses. They just ask for water. Bet you they'll ask for Kleenex next. Um, so I'm just gonna gonna scrape that off a bit here. I uh, want to make sure that we've got a nice clean contact for the the thermal the new thermal paste that I'm gonna put on there. So uh, again, just using a Q-tip and just scraping off. I haven't added any isopropyl alcohol actually on this one yet. Um, well, one thing I will say, uh, I mean, I've done this, I've done this a couple times in my day, and uh, <clears throat> don't hesitate to use tons of Q-tips, really. I mean, uh, you want to make sure you get a nice, clean surface, and if you can't get it nice and clean, um, like if, it, if your Q-tip stops cleaning, just chuck it, right, and get another one. Whoop! Look at that nice finish. You can probably see my camera in there, maybe. Um, so we'll move on to the graphics chip here. Don't drop the laptop. Huh. That'd, that'd be bad news bear, wouldn't it? We've got the uh, some Arctic Silver uh, 5. It's actually really good quality for the for the price you pay for it. Um, ArcticSilver.com. Keep away from children. Made in the USA. So go 
USA. All right, so we're just gonna take the lid off here. Now there's a few different methods. Some people like to spread it out, like with a credit card or something. Other people just like to do a, a dab, and then when you apply the pressure of the processor, or the heat sink onto the processor, it spreads out that, that thermal paste. What you want to make sure is you to have no bubbles, and you want to make sure that uh, there's a good coverage of the thermal paste on the, on the chip. Because this the, the chips will get hot, because that's what's doing all the thinking, right? So if you don't have a nice thorough connection between the chip and the heat sink, it's not going to keep the chips cool enough and they'll burn out and then you're in deep caca with your friend that you're fixing the laptop for, right? Oh, and I will say you got to be careful you don't put too much on because you can get you can get really sloppy and goosh out all over the place. That's not, you don't want that. We've got a nice square, uh, square-ish chip. We have a rectangular chip. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put two little dabs on the rectangular um, chip just to make sure we get a good uh, full coverage. It's actually it's a really tricky balancing act, right? Because you don't want too much on there, but you got to make sure you've got enough to get a nice, good, full coverage. Like I said, I'm going to do two dabs on the on the other the rectangular-ish chip. All right, so I'll put the lid back on. Doesn't take much. This uh, what is this? Three ounces? Three point five grams. It's going to last a uh, forever and a day. So I'll give this a look over here, just so you can kind of see <clears throat> what we did for the chips. So you got the two dabs here, and the one dab there. And uh, I'm just going to put this back and go check on my family. Hi, I'm back. Welcome back. So there we go. We've got our nice clean cover on here. What we're going to do, I don't know if you can really see that very well. I'm going to lay this down here, but we got to make sure that we lay it down almost bang on top. We don't want a lot of movement around while we're doing that. Uh, uh, while we're putting this down, we don't want to slide it around all over the place, right? Okay, so we're just going to lay that down. Boop! Pretty good. Square on. And I'm going to do up the screws here. Now you don't want to over tighten the screws, right? Because you're screwing right into the motherboard here. So you don't want to strip those screws or damage the motherboard at all, right? That'll be mondo expensive. And your friend will punch you in the head, I bet. Okay, good. So we've got that on there. But I'm always curious how it looks underneath there. So what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to take it off. That's right. I'm going to do that. We're going to unscrew it here. Da, 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 da. Oh, nuts. Undo this other screw a bit more. And uh, this one a bit more. There you go. Oh, that would have been perfect. Ish. A <laughs> little bit extra, a little bit too much on the one. Right, I guess I'll let you see the motherboard. Come have a look. Okay, and she looks not too bad there, hey? Eh? Hopefully the zoom's working, can't quite tell. So we'll put that back. Okay, now the disappointing thing is that I can't just put that, plunk that back on there. Don't hesitate to use tons of cotton swabbies. Q-tips. Whatever you want to call them. Double whammy. Double whammy. I should edit that out. That was dumb, wasn't it? Okay. Don't chintz out. All right. So, once again, we've got the nice, shiny, clean surface here. And you want to make sure that you don't have any cotton swabby bits there. Left over. Look at, look at them all I'm going through. Ugh, terrible. Alright, so, well it's not terrible. They're cheap. So, again, I'm just going to put one dab on the small one. Yeah. And I'm going to do two dabs, just smallish dabs, on the rectangular one. So again, like I said, some people like to spread it out with a credit card. Others don't. And I don't like to do it that way. Just gonna balance this on here. Once again, we're using Arctic Silver 5. 
for that. And this is a Samsung laptop. Again, I'm so curious. Did that work exactly like I wanted to? Yes. Yes, it did. Good. And that concludes the thermal paste portion of this video. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We know your time is valuable and you can choose it to watch any other YouTube video, but you chose ours. So thank you. Make sure you like or subscribe and uh, check out some of our other videos at Bros in the Know. We like to say everything for everyone. <laughs>